you know, we have a nuclear reactor in Sydney and we take care of our own waste and no one seems to care about it. Um, the cost, and the, the problem with the cost is, is that if you look at over the whole life cycle, so um, nuclear power plants on average will last around about 80 years. You know, they say between 60 and 100, so I'll go in the middle, 80. So in that time, you'll have to replace solar panels and wind farms four times. So when you're doing the costing, you go, okay, this is how much a nuclear power plant costs. Okay, now you amortise that over 80 years. And then you go, okay, this is how much a wind farm costs now. And then you've got a cost in, what it costs in 20 years, in 40 years, in 60 years. If you're going to be fair to actually work out what the costs are. Now the big thing is uh, the transmission line. So it's estimated that we're going to need 27,000 extra kilometres of transmission lines to take in renewable energy. That's going to cost over $100 billion in, it, in today's money. Whereas if we put them in nuclear power plants where existing coal-fired power stations are, there's no extra cost because it uses existing existing infrastructure. So it makes a lot more sense to me. And, you know, 19 of the twenty top 20 OECD countries in the world um, have nuclear energy. So to me, that says something. It says this works. 